What is going on guys? This is Ben here. In today's video, we are going to be opening up the Legendary Collection Game Board Edition. You can see we got Slifer, Obelisk, and the Winged Dragon of Raw. So we're going to get this open. I already had a little bit of a partially opened on the top there, so I make it easier for everyone and myself. And then so we do get some awesome contents in this box. So we get some uh, Blast from the Pack. I should say Blast from the Past Packs. Treasures of the Pharaoh from the Dawn of Dueling. So these are old school. We get the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Dark Crisis, and Invasion of Chaos. Also, we get all three of the original God cards along with the most the most famous monsters. One of each. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes Bee Dragon. And then also we get these game boards. Um, they're not, they're like wooden, so they're kind of cool, but I don't know. So, okay, we'll open this box up though. See what we get, even though we kind of already know what we're gonna get, but throw that off to the side. You can see we got the gods chilling right here. We got the Pharaoh Servant, Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Crisis. These are old school packs. Obviously, these are reprinted. They're not first edition. As you can see, they're just unlimited. But still, just to look for them to reprint these is awesome. We got Metal Raiders, one of my favorite packs as well. And then if we go over here, Invasion of Chaos, probably one of my favorites too. Honestly, all these old packs I love. And then we got Spell Ruler. And then if we, if we go in here, open this, you can see we have the Slifer, the Sky Dragon, Winged Dragon of Raw. But yeah, we got the game board here. It's like double-sided. You don't get it all at once. So I'll, I'll show you guys it. So we'll go up here. You can see this is the one game board with the wood. And then we switch to the other side. And we get all the monsters right there. So pretty cool. Honestly, if I didn't have like play mats, I would definitely use one of these. I would use something. So this is really cool. I'll probably just keep this um, for now. But it's cool artwork and everything set that on the ground so now let's uh throw it on the packs in a nice neat order here um honestly it doesn't really matter which way we open these but notice how they're all different yugis like look at this <laughs> so we got yugi just chilling in different ways all his different poses he's got a little bit of a different outfit in a lot of them but still standard yammy yugi that we love or atem if you guys watch the uh the Japanese version, the original version. So these are the promo cards. Obelisk of the Tormentor. See if we can get it in focus there. The descent of this mighty creature shall be heralded by burning winds and twisted land. And with the coming of his horror, those who draw beneath shall know the true meaning of eternal slumber. So Obelisk, are these the ones with the blue on the back? It is. So these are the ones that have like, these are unplayable. Obviously these are just solely for collector, but still. Uh, we have Slifer the Sky Dragon. We'll, we'll put these off to the side for now. Just get the sole focus on the God cards like this. Look at that. That's a thumbnail picture right there. I don't know. Or we got to do like the thumb down in the middle perfectly. I'll, I'll play with that later, but who cares? Then we got Wind Dragon of Ra, Merrick's Man, the sp Spirit Sing of a Powerful Creature that Rule All. I totally messed that up. Spirit Sing of a Powerful Creature that Rules Over All That Is Mystic. And we have my personal favorite, because it was Yugi's, Slifer the Sky Dragon. The heavens twist and thunders roars. Sig I completely messing these up. I'm messing them up just a little bit, but it makes me mad when I don't read it right. The heavens twist and thunder roars, signaling the coming of this ancient creature and the dawn of true power. So I don't know. I personally love all the god cards of the show and or the anime when these guys came out and were summoned the whole original yugi series was awesome but what is your favorite mine like i said is slifer i'd say probably the best is either obelisk um in terms of the playable god cards but which one is your favorite just from the show which one did you like which do you think was the most overpowered maybe it was going along with your character but we'll set these down on the bottom blessed by the gods for this one and then obviously the other promos just standard, we've seen these a bunch. Alternate arts, kind of, I guess, for its time when this was, uh, not the original arts. I like, I love the original arts of Blue Eyes, my one of my favorites, and I, my favorite of all time is the original art of Dark Magician. And then the Red Eyes, honestly, any, I like Red Eyes as well, but there we go. So we'll throw these maybe at the, uh, to the, they're like the lesser version, but still cool. So we'll put them off to the side. 
And then uh, let's start opening the pack. So, so first up, got to do Invasion of Chaos. We're just hoping to get maybe one or two foils in these. Um, anything else will be awesome. So just wish me luck. And these are all old school cards though. So we got Inferno, Heart of the Underdog. Yugi used this to great effect in the show. Balloon Lizard, Cannonball Spear Shellfish, Sasuke Samurai number three, Energy Drain, Don Turtle, he's the Don, Grand Adora, and Soul Absorption. So nothing too crazy. If it's not a hollow, I'll just leave it. Um, doesn't really matter. And then, oh, the ultimate Blue Eyes White Dragon. Honestly, the legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon is one of my, I have so many favorites. I, I, I'm going to say that like every video. I'm sorry if it annoys you, but yes, I have a lot of old school favorite. We got Forest, pretty generic, you know. Sweet looking card, if you want to look at some Forest, right? Forest right over there. And then we have M Warrior number two, Mammoth Graveyard, Book of Secret Arts. Grave Digger Ghoul. Look at that face, man. Looks a little scary. He reminds me of a lot of like the yokai people from uh, Yusuke. Yu Yu Hakusho, I should say. Enchanting Mermaid. Dissolver Rock. Sparks. Let's run these for the put these in your put you, put these in your burn deck. And then we got Flame Manipulator. So, nothing too crazy on that one. The next one, we got Pharaoh Servant. So off to a little bit of a slow start. I mean, I guess we can't complain because we I can't get this. This is a tough pack. Getting it stuck. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. A little slow on this. Reign of Mercury. Four star Ladybug of Doom. Flip Shrile level four monsters on the field. Gust. Limited or removal. Okay. We got the super rare. Look at the car. The car speed going up. Double the attack of all face of machine type monsters that are on your side of the field. When you activate this card during the end phase, destroy all monster cards that were affected by this effect. So it's kind of like better for like to do this for like OTKs or like get over tough monsters, but still, love limit and Rudal, and we got actually a hollow. So we'll go ahead and sleeve that up over here. Um, it's really you can tell these are reprinted packs so because we did end up getting a rare alongside the hollow. So you can see we still got uh, I dropped one of the cards. So it was just a common. Who cares? Magic drain. That was seen some play for a little while. The all seeing white tiger, infinite dismissal. Respect play. What? I, I gotta read this. I've never. I don't remember this card. During the respective turns, each player must show their opponent their hand. Okay, I, I thought it was gonna be like the handshake one. Oh my god. <laughs> Next up, Dark Crisis. So one foil so far. I mean, I guess it's okay. I'd like to get more. In Duel Links, this card is really good. Gravity X Garl. Gar Garl. I don't, I don't even care. Dark Scorpion. Gorge the Strong. Zolga, different dimension dragons. We got another super. Okay, uh, we just pulled a bunch of these into the Kaiba duels pack, so another super rare. Contract with the Abyss, Shadow Knight Arfine, one of the coolest cards. I thought this guy was awesome. One of my favorites from back in the day. Once again, Checkmate, Ojama Trio, Maju Garzet. This guy's a uh, interesting effect. I don't know. I never really understood it when I was a kid, but I do now. The attack of this card is become equal to the combined original attack of the two monsters you tributed for a tribute summons. I guess maybe it wasn't this one. I thought it was a different one. But it basically you get the <laughs> you tribute two monsters it becomes a combined attack. That's not that hard. I'm not that I wasn't I wasn't that that un, like <laughs> Well what I just said maybe looks like a dumb kid, but no. <clears throat> that wasn't it. And I ended up dropping the obelisk. Oh, but that's unacceptable. Oh my god, that means, the f that's the reason why we're not getting good pulls. I accidentally dropped the Gobbles. My bad. So we're down to two. We got two hollows. We got our, we got what we came for, but we want to get like an Ultra or a Secret. So we got Metal Raiders here. First edition box of these, incredibly hard to find. Um, if I do find one, I'll definitely do an opening on it for sure. Another one of the packs I was having difficulties with. So we got Crawling Dragon. Larva Moth, King of Yamimaka. Is this a super? Is this a super? Yeah, it is. Sorry, it was hard to tell. I had to like give it the side check to see if it was real. Garnasia Elephantis. I honestly have never seen this card before, so. All right. I mean, we got three hollows. Sangen, best card. Yado Karu, Leo Gun, Sword of Deep Seated. And look at this thing. Legal. Legal. There are no monsters 
This monster may attack your opponent's life points directly. 300 attack points. Much better cards nowadays, but it was kind of game breaking back in the day. And yes, these are like for Pokemon and like magic. I accidentally bought, I was, since these were literally right next to the Yu-Gi-Oh packs at Walmart, I was like, you know what? These are, these should fit the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, and they're for Pokemon and like magic cards because of the bigger sleeves. So I'm just using these because why not? Once I run out of them, then we'll get proper ones like that actually fit the cards. I don't know maybe somebody didn't even notice it, but like, look at that. Looks so dumb, but hey. So, all right, so we got three hollows. We'll see if we can finish off strong here with Spell Ruler. I mean, hopefully we get something good. I don't know if we are going to. We haven't got an Ultra, but Supers are fine. So, Stone Ogre Grotto, Red Archery Girl, Kododama, and does not look like we we're gonna get anything. So we got Rush Recklessly. Uh, all of these are gonna be commons. Hamburger recipe for hunger hamburger. <laughs> Ida Gaboon, High Tide, Gryogen. This guy's in Duel Links to do. He's pretty good as well. But so for our recap, obviously, we got the gods, which is your favorite. I already told you mine. Slifer. So the godly. And then, yes, these are the cards with like the coloration in the back over there to represent their former. They're f not, not their form, but the, just their color. I wouldn't say their element either, but then we got those. Throw those to the side. So our hollow, sadly no ultra rare, only super rares. Let's see right here. Favorite one definitely is gonna be limited removal, limiter removal and different dimension dragon. Kabi uses that a bunch in the in the anime, but it's all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Sadly, nothing too crazy, but I can't complain, dude. It was a loose pack reprinted, but no, no ultra rares. I would like to see a secret. That would've been nice, but can't complain with these, even though it sounds like I'm complaining. But if you guys enjoyed the video, at least we got our god cards. That's actually my first three god cards that I have. Because whenever I get them, I'd always like trade them or something. But no, I'm gonna probably hold on to these. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. The Legendary Collection Duelist Box or Game Mat Box. That mat is actually pretty solid. Even though it is, yes, cardboard and very slick. It's not like these. It's not like these game mats where it's nice and like plush or whatever. I don't even. I don't even know what you call this material. Like it's got like the. Stuff that sticks like the like a mouse pad kind of. Well, that was just cardboard. Hey, better than nothing, honestly. But if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. We do some crazy openings pretty soon here. I got a lot of old product. Just got my Black Rose Dragon tins in. Those have first edition crossroad chaos booster packs. We'll do a hunt for Black Rose Dragon. I got some duels Genesis on the way first ed. So a lot of cool stuff coming. Hope you guys are excited. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.